Hi, my name is Stephen Nicklin and I'm a neuroscientist here at the Black Dog Institute. And so my specialty is electrophysiology, which means that I use EEG to read brain activity in people that are depressed and receiving treatment for depression. And so what drew me to this area of research is that I have family members actually who are depressed and thankfully receiving medication that actually treats their depression. So both my mother and my sister have found medication that works for them. But I'm aware that there are many people out there who aren't quite so lucky and who struggle to find medication that actually takes the edge off their depressive symptoms and allows them to function in everyday life. And so my focus is on developing new treatments that will work for those people when medications haven't. And one of the areas that I'm interested in at the moment is using real-time EEG, so real-time measuring of brain activity, to try and pinpoint when the brain is falling into a ruminative, so internally focused state of mind and specifically what we're looking at is a type of brain activity that's called the default mode network, which you can think of as, if you're a car, you can think of it as the neutral state in your car. So what the car is doing when it's not driving, when it's idling. And what we see is that in depressed people, people tend to slip into this neutral state more often. And you can imagine in a car, if you're trying to drive, slipping into neutral too often is going to disrupt your ability to drive. And so what we're trying to do is detect in real time those moments when people slip into this default mode network, into this neutral state, and snap them out of it using a variety of different stimuli. And we're hopeful that in doing that and identifying those moments, we'll actually get them engaged, we'll get them uh, functioning better, so we'll get them driving a bit faster. And so if this research interests you and you'd like to hear a bit more, please have a look at our website and feel free to send us an email and to get in touch and let us know, you know how you can do more.